Good evening. I'm Roger. Isn't art fantastic? Isn't it a wonder man's ability to conjure a creative depiction of humanity, nature, and the divine? Even science, to a degree, is an art if you really think about it. And no man seems to have coupled art and science as well as Leonardo da Vinci. But what happens when big ideas have no basis in science, but still look kind of cool when written on Renaissance-era parchment paper? That's where our famous Italian Renaissance man, Leonardo da Vinci, comes into the picture. You've heard about the Mona Lisa, the Vitruvian man, maybe even his wacky flying machine. But there's one thing they didn't teach you in school. Da Vinci didn't know dick about Cox. Welcome back! As you know, it is my mission to record every historical fact known to history. I'm serious. A demented and wanton god has cursed me with the Sisyphean task of documenting every last moment from the dawn of man up until the present. But that's the thing. Time continues unfurling its cruel, infinite, sexy little tentacle, bringing with it countless new facts in each moment. And I have to make fun little videos about each and every one of them. Even the kooky ones. Today's lesson is about Leonardo da Vinci. Jubilee! Oh, no, Clocko. Not the turtle with cancer. Oh, bummer, dude. Yeah, they're so young. But I am talking about the famed Italian Renaissance man, Adoy. Uh-oh. Looks like it's time for a pop quiz. What did famed anatomist Leonardo da Vinci get wrong about the human body? A. He thought the penis plugged into the brain, like a tap on a keg. Or B. He thought that pregnant women menstruated from their boobilies. All I know is my penis is the second hand. Show us the balls, clock. Never! Okay, we can't afford for that to be canon. That's okay, we'll keep moving. It's actually a trick question. Oh! Both are true. If you were really good at art, hospitals would let you fuck around with their dead bodies for some reason. Da Vinci finagled, flayed, and fistulated so many meat bags, he became one of the foremost human biologists. So. How did such a brilliant man get baby making so incredibly wrong? Ooh, fun fact! It's thought that Da Vinci remained celibate for decades after being publicly accused and almost convicted of the capital crime of sodomy. Ooh, well, I'm sure that didn't help. But I think uh, it had more to do with the fascination with the human skeleton. See, he spent most of his dead body time screwing around with the bones and the muscles, but it's the squishy bits in the middle that really seem to trip him up. Let's take a look at one of his notebooks from 1492. While Columbus was sailing the ocean blue, da Vinci was apparently simulating full-on penetrative sex with the recently deceased. There was an old Greek expression, you can do it if no one's watching. Oh no, sperm is a drop of the brain. And da Vinci took that literally. His sketch depicts a tube that connects the neener at the base of the spinal cord, implying that da Vinci thought he literally jizzed his brains out. The balls, well, they're just for show. That explains why they're so pretty. Da Vinci's research also led him to conclude that the standard ding-dong had two distinct tubes, a cum tube and a piss tube, running almost the full length of the shaft. For the record, that is not how penises work. I mean, I'd be happy if mine worked at all. Now, there's one more inscrutable tube in this diagram. Can you find it? It's the one that connects the woman's nipple to her uterus. Just like the Dick Brain Express, the nipple to vagina pipeline is both completely fictional and inspired by ancient Greek philosophers. See, they noticed that pregnant women didn't tend to menstruate, but did tend to lactate. They deduced that menstrual discharge traveled up the body and squirted out the awugas as milk. Like many of us, da Vinci seemed to think that women's bodies were just a big wet game of chutes and ladders. Mm, for me, it's Candyland. But let's see what the big man himself has to say about it. Stop chewing on the board. It is I. Leonardo da Vinci. Ooh, Miss da Vinci, we were just talking about your penises. Marvelous. Mm. Do you mind if I do a little show and tell? No, no, no. That depends. Is it bent? I wanted to share with you a little known pair of wangs that are illustrated in the margins of my codices. Mm. Primary source, teachers love that shit. Wait, did you draw it? Mm. 
No, okay. I didn't. Those pair of pennies were penned by my mischievous apprentice and part-time lover, Hello. Gian Giacomo Caprotti. Ooh, sounds hot. I like to call him Salai. He means little devil. Ooh, oh. sexy. <laughs> oh, I love the guy. Hey, you gotta. Sometimes you gotta love a guy. I would often incorporate his comely visage into my artwork. Sometimes fully erect. Six to midnight. Fully erect. And in return, he sketched for me these uh, pair of twin trouser snakes marching lustily towards the dilated bee hole. He even wrote his name over the orifice, you see that? Oh, yes, I do. Isn't yeah, that nice? Wow, that's gorgeous. It's just Ooh. nice. That is 500 year old textbook graffiti. I mean, this is why I love history, right? We are centuries apart and yet we can connect. It's incredible. Maybe spending eternity studying human history, <laughs> it ain't half bad. Fun fact! Please, just please let me have this. Da Vinci's final resting place was ransacked during the French Revolution. We don't know where his remains are. Excuse me, what, what is that? What is this? Well, that is a sentient clock. Right, so imagine a sundial, but hornier. No, 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 no. What is the French Revolution and, um, and where are my remains? Ooh, touchy. Ah. Excuse me, where are my bones? Okay, am I a time traveler or a ghost? Kind of both and neither. The script doesn't really specify. Mm-hmm. Mm. <laughs> where are my bones? Okay, well. We've... Where are my bones? This is unfortunate. We have agitated a restless spirit, which means it's time to call it a day. Where are my bones? Can you tell me where my bones are? Can anyone tell me where my bones are? You? We got you over here. Ooh. You don't know where my bones are? Okay, don't. I'm asking for my bones. Okay. I'm just a clock. Careful, they're unions, so you have to be careful. Yes, be very careful. Man. I invented the unions. I invented the guild. That's not I true. I invented it, art. I don't think. That's it, literally that's not, not true. true at all. Where are my bones?